All right, we're going to choose one of these equations and isolate a variable. I'm going to choose the negative 3x equals 6 minus y. We want to get that y by itself, or at least that's what I'm going to choose to try to get by itself. So I'm going to add y to both sides, but I'm also going to add 3x to both sides and just switch what's there. So then I end up with y is equal to 3x plus 6, or 6 plus 3x, it doesn't matter which. Again, I realize that these are small boxes, so if you're having trouble writing in them, I do have full-size sheets. <clears throat> okay, now I've got that this y is equal to 3x plus 6. So I'm going to substitute this in for y with the other equation. Hmm? Mm -hmm. So we're going to rewrite this as negative 4x plus 2 times 3x plus 6 equals 8. I've gone back to this first equation and where the y is, I've subbed in this expression for it. We're going to now take this equation and we're going to solve it. First, I'm going to distribute that 2. So I've distributed the 2. I'm going to combine like terms and rewrite the equation in this next box to solve for the x. Negative 4x positive 6x gives us 2x plus 12 equals 8. We're going to subtract 12 from both sides. And we get 2x equals negative 4. So x would be equal to negative 2. We're going to substitute the variable from step three into the equation with the uh, variable that we isolated in step one. So we've got this y equals 3x plus 6. I'm going to put the negative 2 in for the x. That's going to be rewritten as y is equal to negative 6 plus 6, which means our y is equal to 0. So it appears that our xy pair is negative 2 comma 0. We are going to show with this activity today that you can solve the same system all three ways and come up with the same answer. But in that, as we're doing this, I want you to be paying attention to which way do you like to use better or which way was easiest to use with that set of equations. So for graphing, we want to rewrite both of these in y equals mx plus b form. Well, we already did that over here.
We need to also do it with this one. I'm going to use some of the extra space at the top of the paper just to rewrite it. We end up right now with 2y is equal to 4x plus 8. If we divide everything by 2 there, we get y is equal to 2x plus 4. So for substitution, one of these has to be solved for a variable. For graphing, both of them have to be in y equals mx plus b form. We can now graph these lines by starting with uh, positive 6. And we're going to show rise over run of 3 over 1. Probably use a straight edge from your other piece of paper. Our second equation would start at positive four. And again, we're showing it is at negative 2 comma 0. I like graphing, but it is not my favorite way to solve these. I think it, it's so dependent on what kind of paper you have, how well you draw your line. There's just a lot of places to make little mistakes. <clears throat> and finally, we're going to use elimination. We're going to rewrite the equation so that the x's and y's are on the same side of the equation and the constants are on the other. In other words, we want this to be an ax plus by equals c form, or standard form. The first one already is. And the second one would end up being negative 3x plus y equals 6. The second is to stack them up so that like terms are above each other. We're going to modify one of the equations so that we get coefficients that will eliminate themselves or zero out. I'm going to take the second equation and multiply it times negative 2 so we can get rid of the y term. We end up with 6x minus 2y equals 6. Or, whoops equals 12, negative 12.
Then we're going to add the equation so we can eliminate a term. It leaves us with 2x is equal to negative 4. We're going to solve for that x, which we already know is negative 2, and it shows up again. Then we're going to substitute that in. Again, I always try to choose the easiest equation to sub it back in for. And then finally, we are going to solve for the other variable. And we can see again that we got negative 2, 0, solving it all three ways.